Now we are going to solve our second problem and according to the problem the resistance of a cube shaped material between any of its opposite faces is equal to 2 ohms and if this cube is stretched in one direction by applying a linear force it is getting stretched in one direction by applying a linear force then its original length doubles. Find the new resistance between oppositely stretched faces. So this is the problem and according to the problem we are having a cube shaped material. So this is our cube shaped material and the resistance of its opposite faces is equal to 2 ohms and for our analysis we will take these two faces and let's say the resistance between these two faces is equal to R1 and according to the problem it is equal to 2 ohms then we are stretching the cube in one direction by applying a linear force so one linear force is applied and the length doubles so after stretching we will have the cube like this if L1 is the length of this cube then 2 times L1 is the length of the new cube so L2 is equal to 2 times L1 now let's say the area of cross section is A1 and in this case area of cross section is A2 now with this information we are required to calculate the resistance between these two faces we know resistance is equal to rho multiplied to length divided by area and we will assume the material is having the resistivity as rho and we are not changing the material in both the cases we are having the same material therefore resistivity will not change in this case so we can say that R1 is equal to rho multiplied to the length that is L1 divided by the area that is A1 and in this case let's say the resistance between these two faces is R2 then it is equal to rho multiplied to L2 divided by A2 and it is clear that we are not adding any extra amount of material when we are applying the linear force so the amount of material we are having in this case will remain the same in this case as well this means the volume in the first case will be same as the volume in the second case and the volume is equal to area multiplied to the length so a1 l1 is equal to a2 l2 and from here we will have a2 it is equal to a1 l1 divided by l2 and l2 is equal to 2 times l1 so we have a2 equal to a1 l1 divided by 2 times l1 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 will cancel out so we have a2 equal to a1 divided by 2 so when we are increasing the length two times the original length the area is getting half of the original area therefore we have r2 resistance r2 equal to rho in place of l2 we will write two times l1 and in place of a2 we will write a1 divided by 2 so we are getting r2 equal to 4 rho l1 over a1 and rho l1 over a1 is equal to r1 and r1 is equal to 2 ohms so from here we are getting new resistance that is r2 equal to 4 multiplied to 2 that is 8 ohms so this is our answer so i hope the solution is clear to you and now we will move to our homework problem and this 
homework problem is a good problem and here we are having one circuit in which three resistors are there when switch s is open no current will flow through r3 but when switch s is closed current will flow through r3 and now you are required to match the column 1 with column 2 and while doing so you have to keep in mind what are the changes happening in this circuit after closing the switch s so think about the scenario before closing the switch and compare it with the scenario after closing the switch you will be able to match column 1 with column 2 and once you have your answer post it in comment section now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one